Gonzalez. Let's get over to Mike Seidel. He's in Port Lavaca. And Mike, uh, one of the big problems with this system is, of course, we've got this onshore flow that's going to continue for a long, long time, and that's not going to let the water down very quickly. Indeed, it's backed off a little bit, about a foot and change from 6.4 feet. But as I look off to the east and based on radar, things are brightening up. The sky is getting brighter. The rain is really backed off. So some promising changes here. I want to show you, though, we're able to get outside now. We had to keep our camera dry. And we're going to come down here and show you what has floated in. We're not sure where that came from. It looks like, oh, I see what we have. If we Can we walk down here? Mark Weiss, hats off to Mark Weiss. Uh, long days and dealing with the weather, these cameras, these breakaway walls got blown down. And uh, they were expecting this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we have here is the, uh, the underbelly of the hotel, the basement, which they call the ground floor, all storage. Um, and there's some, there's some PVC. Let's go down. You want to go down a little bit farther? And we'll just see what we've got here. Wow, look at this. Again, the hotel itself is fine, a little water in the hotel, but this was expected. These are what they call breakaway walls, and those hurricane-force wind gusts did take them out all the way out front. But you can see how the water has backed off out front, too, so it's now back on the other side of the seawall, uh, just about. I want to go back up here. Let's walk back up here, show uh, our five viewers at home a little bit more of what's going on. Well, there's uh, Highway 35. And we we're starting to see a little traffic. Notice the uh, parking lot is littered with PVC piping and other debris, a vehicle coming in. But the highway is open. But across the street, that's Lighthouse, Lighthouse Beach. That is all underwater. And looks, look, we've got the, uh, the, the looky loser back out getting video and pictures. So we've got life, some life coming back out. Let's go. Uh, Jen Carfagna, we've got some more. Uh, pictures to show you, but that gives you an idea of what happened here at the hotel. Uh, that's why they built it up like that. Uh, the ground floor has been hit pretty hard, but everything else is in really, really good shape. Jen, back to you in Houston. Mm -hmm. Tremendous job out there, Mike. Tremendous job to you and your whole crew. You guys have done a fantastic job of showing us um, what, what has happened and then actually how you prepare it as well for yourselves to stay safe during the storm. That was fantastic. But where it's been even worse, that's Port Lavaca, about 140 miles to our east, and that is where we find Mike Seidel. And again, Mike, you've been in the wind and the rain for hours on end. And you mentioned in your last hit that you said the sky was lightening up just a little bit, maybe a tale of the fact that it is weakening from a major hurricane to a minimal hurricane. But the wind, the rain, it's not over. This is going to be here for quite some time. Yes, it is. And uh, bear with us as we try to get in position and show you some of this debris. Whoa, let's get back over here. And just bear with us. We're trying to get down here under the hotel. Now, this whole area got uh, hit pretty hard. These are breakaway walls, and we're trying to deal with the wind. Mark Weiss, hang in there, buddy. There you go. You got it? How, how are we doing okay? Yeah, we're doing okay. Mark, uh, hang in there, boy. What a guy. This is the underneath portion of the hotel. It's built up on these concrete pylons. We call them giant stilts, concrete uh, and, and cinder block. And there is the water that came in and the winds that gusted over hurricane force. We'll take a walk out here. It's not as windy when you get over to this side of the building. We get some protection. So this is all underwater. Remember the water came up over six feet, six and a half feet. There's the gazebo sitting on the ground now. So that gazebo got uh, nailed by the wind. It looks like it just came right out of its moorings. Yes, that's basically what it did. That wind last night was howling. Boy, it just blew it right down. Looking around the front of the hotel, things are not looking too bad. I mean, considering what they dealt with, uh, the hotel's in great shape. It's just the first floor where they have these breakaway walls. Want to walk down here, Mark? Is that okay? Um, we'll walk down here. This is where we were last night uh, when the water started coming in. And when it got up to about two feet here, we uh, headed inside around midnight. Some of the fencing from the pool here. Oh, well, look at this. Now, these... These picnic tables here, they were out here, out front. So they 
they floated themselves, the water and the wind blew them and floated them back towards where you go in and take the elevator upstairs. Let's see how the pool fared. It looks like it got hit pretty hard. Yeah, the pool is, the pool has got a lot of debris in it. And one, again, one of those breakaway walls over in the back left corner has gotten blown out and some of the fencing is gone. So lower level hit really, really hard, but the uh, structure is still extremely stable. And as I mentioned, where we're staying on um, those floors, one, two, three, four, uh, just some water got in the hotel. Jen Carfagno, uh, there'll be some cleanup here and, and some repair, but the hotel by far, pretty good shape. The, the wave action is backed off. Boy, look at this. It, the water is right up to the uh, seawall, Jen, but we don't have the wave action as much now. The wind is blowing the other way. It's still blowing on shore. Uh, I think I think we might have uh, lost Mike right there. I think it's amazing we've had a shot for as long as we had, actually, without interruption. Uh, we want to get down to Mike Seidel, who got into the edge of the eye wall uh, last night, Mike. And uh, those uh, wind amounts that we saw were way up there. Some of those values were right up there in uh, Category 4 territory. Yeah, we didn't get that kind of wind here, but we had wind gusts that had to be upwards of 80 or 90 miles an hour. Uh, the wind measuring in the reporting station nearby in Port Lavaca stopped reporting about 9 o'clock last night. But the damage has been done primarily from water and, and the wind, too. This is what we show you uh, from Hurricane Harvey right on Lavaca Bay. This is the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. It was built six years ago. It's concrete block, uh, cinder, and hardy plank. But they built this lower level. It's basically, you can see the concrete pylons, the stilts, to keep the water out because they're right on Lavaca Bay. They didn't want to have hours uh, or the insurance company is because the only water that got really into the hotel is some rainwater uh, through the windows. So, so they got some wet carpets. That's it. But look at what happens. These are breakaway walls. So the force of the wind and the water knock these down. You can see all the way out to Lavaca Bay. And look at this railing here, this metal railing that I'm shaking here now on camera. Imagine the force of the wind that blew this over. Well, we had some channeling around here. This is where we were standing last night, if you were watching, and we were getting hit pretty hard. The parking lot, the water has evacuated very nicely, as the town did a couple of days ago. Well, you can see the debris here. And that's Lavaca Bay. The wind, instead of being northeast now, is coming around more to the south, so it's blowing the water across the bay. Uh, and the wave action has decreased tremendously. We don't have much in the way of white caps. And we'll spin around here and see some more of the debris here. Uh, some PVC piping, some wood, a couple, oh, there's a pair of running shoes out there. Those are, those are, look like they're pretty nice there. And Highway 35, some traffic now up and down 35. Our producer, Michael Van, went into town. He said it wasn't too bad. Uh, there were some issues at the uh, harbor and there was some debris down like here, but the town looks to be in pretty good shape as the wind continues to ease off, but not fast enough. The rain's still coming down, but not nearly as hard as it was uh, certainly over the past uh, 15, 16 hours. So, uh, Jen Carfagno, back to Jen, or is it Michael Bruin? I'm not sure. Nikki, help me out here. Jen? No, I'll take it, Mike. Jen I'll Carfagno, it, Mike. down in Houston, I'll Jen? I'll take it, yeah. I, yeah, I, I know where you're... I know, I know where you're standing, and I was here once when the water was up to the top of the volleyball net, so keep an eye. That's kind of the benchmark. If it gets yes. that high in the park, uh, that's, that's yes. a pretty significant flood. That's what they told me right when I first got here, actually, that volleyball net behind me, which, you know, I've been watching. We haven't had water come up yet. The Buffalo Bayou, you know, is running very high, 